Hi, I'm Steve Cronin. This week, Inside the Galaxy. Meet backup goalkeeper Vito Higgins. Hear from the Payne brothers as they battle for family superiority. We'll look ahead to the game versus DC. But first, let's flash back to the 3-3 tie against the crew. All this week, Inside the Galaxy. I think it's a pity that we you know, throw two points away. I think you worked very hard to, to get a, at a good score, 2-0. And in a short period, you know, you, you, you give it away. And, uh, and the pity is also we had a, a lot of chances. We were disappointed to come in just 1-0 at half time because we felt that we had three or four good, really good opportunities. And, and when you don't put them away, you start to wonder about you know, if, if they do get one back, are they going to get two back, and, and then, you know, and so on. But uh, it's, it's the whole, you know, what we were talking about is not giving anything away to different teams and, uh, and to every team that comes to play in our home. You know, it's, it's, we've got to make this, we've got to make this place a fortress. You know, we, we have to win our games here and, and then and win as many as we can away from home. But it's important that we win our games here and we don't give anything away. In, in the beginning of the season, we lost these games in the last couple of minutes. I think Toronto was one for example, New York also. So therefore, that's at least uh, something positive out of it. It's this, when you get an opportunity like that in the last couple of minutes to, to win the game, of course it's, it's disappointing not to score it, but um, you know, it's forgot about now. We haven't lost a game in the last three games, so it's uh, you know we have got some kind of consistency going there, and we're on the right way. So um, you know we've we've still got to work hard this week, and we've got a big game next weekend. We didn't lose this game. I think it was a very very tough game to play, but you have to win. This. You know, it's two points uh, thrown away. When we do these things, we're looking for, for guys that fit needs at this point. We're not just bringing players in just to bring players in. So Vito fits a need. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that uh, we have followed through the college ranks, and, and uh, he did very well uh, during the four days that, that he was here. So you know, he's earned, earned the right to, uh, to come in and train with us. It was, uh, it was a struggle. I mean, there were 400 guys. Uh, I heard last year's was close to 1,000. So... Um, you know, to come in through there and to have all, I mean, they're all good players. I mean, there's players from England, players from France, players from Brazil. Um, I mean, it was tough coming in and realizing that I had to go through 400 people to get a shot. So, you know, I just, I've learned from coaches, if they give you a hard time, that means they like you. If they're not telling you anything, that's a bad thing because then uh, they don't really care. So, uh, you know, I just, you know, he had some good jokes in there. He was laughing. Uh, you know, having a good time. So, you know, as long as I'm at, at its, his expense, it's all good. So, it's very special. I mean, I get to play, you know, star players that I watch on the TV, uh, David Beckham, you know, Landon Donovan uh, lit me up a few times today in, in net. But uh, uh, it was cool. I mean, it's definitely a dream come true, and I couldn't ask for a better experience, and I just hope it keeps going. You know, back when we were growing up, soccer wasn't the sport of choice for kids. It was baseball, and, and I was a big baseball player, actually. Uh, and Kevin kind of led me the way in soccer. He played. He played in college a little bit. I went on to play in college. Uh, he got involved in the league before I did, but I absolutely went to him when I decided I wanted to get involved in, in the sport and help grow it. Before I ever went to Disney and all those places, he was a person I talked to. So Tommy's, you know, almost 11 years younger than me, so... Uh, he used to come watch me play in high school when he was a kid, and um, I, I used to help help him, you know, learn the game. And then actually uh, was an assistant coach for his high school team um, on kind of a volunteer basis. Uh, I didn't get paid for it. Um, I had a, another job, but uh, um, you know, I always enjoyed watching him play and and following his progress through the game. He was a good Tommy. Was a good player. Um, Played in junior college and then in college after that, so uh, uh, he did quite well. I think we both root for each other when we're not playing one another. When his team comes out here to play the other guys down the hallway, I'm always out there rooting for him. But uh, at the end of the day, it's we're both really, really competitive people, so we're not going to bring too much of that into the family dynamic or it could be an issue. But uh, I think we enjoy each other because we're willing to, to tell the truth to each other about our teams and about what's happening on the field and all that good stuff. There's not really a rivalry. I mean, uh, you know, I want to win the game. 
uh, he wants his team to win the game. But we don't uh, get into that very much. Um, his son will be uh, visiting us this weekend. In fact, uh, my, he's at my house now. Um, I tease him a lot, and I was just asking him before if he had all this DC United gear to wear to the game. Suffice to say, it's probably the same thing. I'll be a little disappointed if I see too much DC United stuff, but knowing my brother, he's not allowing any family members to wear Galaxy to the game, except for Dylan. Dylan's going to be head and shoulders Galaxy. Dylan's my little guy. But Tommy and I don't really have a rivalry over that. I, I, I want his team to do well. Uh, when we're not playing them and I think he wants us to do well when we're not playing them but I certainly understand that he's going to be rooting for the Galaxy on Sunday. Well, obviously when they play at home they tend to attack. They have uh, a lot of weapons going forward so it'll definitely be I think an open game, probably a high scoring affair. The past games we've been involved in a lot of them have been fairly high scoring so it should be interesting but uh, definitely two good teams going forward that's for sure. Especially DC has played very well. I think the start that they had uh, was not indicative of the type of team that they are. So we know what they have going in. Lucio Emilio starting to heat up. He's a guy that we're going to have to be aware of. And uh, it's there at RFK, and they're very difficult to play against there. We try to improve all the time. I think we, that we gave last games away some silly goals, unnecessary goals. But uh, they know that uh, we can score goals wherever we play. So therefore, they have to be also very. Uh, you know, particular attention also to our, to our strikers. The games against these Eastern Conference teams will tell us where our season's going. Right now we're first in the Western Conference, but we have to play well against Eastern Conference also. So these next few games are going to be extremely difficult, but a good, uh, good learning curve for us. Every team uh, in our league is a pretty good barometer of, of where this team stands. Right now we're in first place. Our main objective is to stay there. Uh, and, right, and DC is next, but then you know you follow it up with New England, a very difficult team. Uh, we've got a tough stretch, so we're going to take it one game at a time and see how we can do. I have a good feeling about the team. Um, I think our best defense will be to attack the opposition, and that's what we shall do.